anything you won't put a Hellcat into? Absolutely not. I mean, it's a, it's the perfect motor. I mean, what Dodge has come up with with the Hellcat is is phenomenal. And uh, if I can fit it into a, a, a little red wagon, I will. This is the second summer you've come and spent some time with us here in Detroit around the Woodward Week. Uh, what does this do for you to come up and hang out with car crazy guys in Detroit? I tell you, the, the Woodward Week here is just, I've heard about it all my life. Last year was my first time to get to come up here, and this is absolutely phenomenal. And uh, there are so many cars on so many streets and so much going on that I don't think you can see it all in a week. They need to start making it like Woodward Month or something. You know what, what's really cool about events like this, I mean, uh, we, we had an event at uh, Gas Monkey Live and now we're here at the Roadkill uh, event here in uh, Detroit. And it's really phenomenal because the, we need a place to race. I mean, the NHRA was built because people were racing on the streets and they were dying. And uh, you gotta give them a sanctioned event that they can come to, they can have a good time, and do it in as safe as a possible way, and go home and still be able to kiss their wife and kids goodnight. So what Dodge is doing by holding these events is phenomenal because the last thing you want is these guys out there having fun on the streets and hurting themselves and hurting somebody else. The uh, last chance for some smack talk against the Roadkill Boys. You've had a lot of fun the last couple of weeks. You know, we've had a lot of fun the last couple of weeks with the Roadkill Boys on uh, the interweb. I haven't ever met them. Uh, seem like nice enough guys. Uh, you know, they've got a, a piece of shit charger back there. We've got our Shark Cat. We're ready to go. We had to throw a Hell, Hellcat motor in both the cars. It should be a good time, and uh, you know what? I'm pretty sure we'll come out victorious.